It's not that I hate her, I don't. Most men would despise a wife for becoming what Joanne has become, but I don't. It's just I can't live like this. But I don't want to hurt her, Martin. I just can't go on living a lot. Just close your eyes. Rest. When you open them, poof, she's vanished. The trouble is, she loves me too much. Deeply, I mean obsessively. If I divorce her, she will fall to pieces and I will lose everything I've built. It doesn't make any sense. You see the problem? I see that. But I can't be cruel. It's not my way. You think it's my way, Charles? No, of course not. That's why I came to you. You know what I do. I don't want to talk about it. We are talking about it, Charles. You're a fine attorney, Mr. Houston. You know what to say and when to say it, and what not to say. I've never been charged with a crime before, not any crime at all. I tried to be very careful, but when I slipped, you helped me. You made the jury say I was innocent, and I respect you for that, Charles. And I respect the arrangement we've made. We'll agree about the time, whenever you're ready. Don't worry, Charles. Trust me. Bonjour, madame. Howdy. Ah, madame Colombo. Hello, monsieur Gérard. Ah, ah, en français. Ah, bonjour, monsieur Gérard. Très bien. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Mm -hmm. Ça va, madame? Comment ça va? Très peu, merci. Ah, asseyez-vous ici, s'il vous plaît. Asseyez-vous sur la chaise. Sur la chaise. Sur la chaise, oui, merci, monsieur. <rire> Alors, leçon numéro 3, oui. Leçon numéro 3. Leçon numéro 3. Opéra ordinaire, papier. Très bien. Pour vous, à étudier. À étudier. To study, right? Ah uh ah. -huh. En français seulement, tout en français. Ah, étudier. Très bien. Ah, oui. Merci. Eh bien. Monsieur. On va jouer encore une fois à Simon dit. Simon dit. Oh, Simon says, good. Ah, ah. Bon, bon, très bien, monsieur. Simon dit, ouvrez la fenêtre. Ouvrez la fenêtre. Très bien. Simon dit, je voudrais une tasse de café. Café, oui. Simon dit, avec de la crème. Avec crème. Mmh. Simon dit pas de sucre. Oh, no sugar. Simon dit, puis-je avoir du feu? Ah, voici de feu, monsieur. Excellent. Assez, vous, madame. Non, 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 madame. Simon n'a pas dit. Monsieur Gérard. I love you. And I love improving my mind. I have, however, been up since five o'clock this morning. I have done my laundry and cleaned my house and written to my husband. After my French lesson, I go to my job. Sort of a job. I think it's a job. But just for now, with or without Simon's permission, I think I am going to sit down. Souriez. Excuse me? Souriez. Four hundred words on the upcoming PTA show. Entertainment for the multitudes. I'm in it, by the way. A little east. We got to the semi-semi quarterfinals, but we lost again. Star picture had the mumps. I did the Hadassah luncheon, but I missed the planning commission. Conflict with my daughter's ballet lesson, and I had to meet the repairman for my washing machine. You do a story on the repairman? Oh, I never thought of it. Good, that's a plus. You like this kind of work? Very much. I hate it. Why do you like it? I can do it. I'm good at it. I'm good at blowing bubbles in the bathtub. Mr. Alden. Once upon a time, I studied journalism. I even worked at it. I got married. 
I'm a terrific housewife. I'm the world's champion mother. I worship my husband, and I still want something left over for me. Mine. Selfish. Just a few hours a day. All mine. Nobody else's. Six months ago, I woke up and I wondered, whatever happened to me? I mean, where am I? I can tell you. You're in the wrong business. Anything wrong with my work? I said six month trial period, Mrs. Colombo. Well, I tried. What about ambition? Person like you, I see all kinds of ambition. You enjoy doing these little jobs at home. I adore it. Don't you want to work for a real newspaper? This is a real newspaper. Real newspapers come out every day, not once a week. It's perfect for me, Mr. Alden. Real newspapers get sold for real money. They don't give them away in the suburbs. I love this suburb. What do you want me to tell you? You belong in the New York Times? Yeah. You want me to lie to you? That's what I want. You're not bad. That's a lie. All right, you're pretty good for a cop's wife. That's better. Well, am I good enough? Press time, still Tuesday, 3 p.m. You still work at home. I pay no phone bills. Minimum of 3,000 words about the streets where we live. I'll even take murderers, but we've been fresh out lately, so stick with the PTA. The weekly advertiser isn't just advertising, you know? I wish to God it were. Maybe I'd show a profit for a change. That is some important job you got. I think it is. You think it is? It is. man can you hear me now hear this one two three is this thing working i can hear you fine mrs colombo roger dodger you darling man <laughs> you all right you don't look so good to me i'm worried about you come on out run play You are magnificent. <laughs> well, I got your new extension all set up. How'd you do that so quickly? No, I don't know. For that, you get a piece of chocolate right. cake, Lucky. Oh, terrific. I mean, it's practically a real office. I am a very important person. A very busy journalist at the washing machine. Phone rings, I break my neck lunging for it. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, very vital message. Phone says, can Jenny come out and play? I press this key. Jenny, dear, it's for you. Like a duchess. Nice, huh? Very nice. Thank you. Joanne? You up in the bedroom, babe? Joanne, honey. Charlie, you home already? What happened to your case? Hey, uh, oh, what's his name? Mr. Telephone, come here for a minute. That goofy judge postponed the arraignment again. I didn't feel like going back to the office. Oh, good for you. I was just <clears throat> going to take a bath. Take your time, Joe. It's a brand new unit. I just plugged <laughs> it in. Who's Charlie? Who's Joanne? Is it supposed to do that? Well, what it sounds like, Mrs. Colombo, is that somewhere in the neighborhood, there's another intercom just like this one. When the cord is plugged into the power and the machine is turned on and you press this key, your voice goes through to your daughter's bedroom. Through the power wiring in the house. What they call a carrier system. Where is this other house? Anywhere. See, you got the same power lines, the same intercom, so you get their voices along with your lights and all that. Of course, if you don't want to listen, you can just... Just one more thing. <laughs> 